Hello and welcome to Mr. Henning's class video about distance on the coordinate plane. Our learning goal for this video is that you will be able to use the distance formula to calculate the distance between two points. Please look in the YouTube description below this video to find which page number in your spiral you should take notes on. Okay, let's get going. So, let's look at this map. Let's say that you wanted to walk from Papa's Pizza to Benny's house. How would you get there? Well, one way you could take is to go south four blocks and then east two blocks. So how far would you have traveled? Well, four and two would be six, so you would have traveled six blocks. Now, because you were restricted to walking on the streets, it's not like you can just walk through buildings or anything. Okay, I call this taxi cab geometry because it's how a taxi cab would have to get there. Okay, but what if you were a bird? How would you travel? Well, if you're a bird, you could fly over buildings, so those wouldn't matter. So you could fly directly there. So I would call this as a crow flies. Now, how would we figure out how long this distance is? Hmm. Well, hopefully you notice that this forms a right triangle right here. So, what formula could we use that applies to a right triangle? Well, hopefully that you are thinking the Pythagorean theorem. The distance formula is actually based off of the Pythagorean theorem. So, let's just do a quick review. So, here's our triangle. Four, we know the sides 4 and 2, and we're looking for the last side. If you remember, Pythagorean theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the two legs of the right triangle, and c is the hypotenuse. We can figure out the distance of the hypotenuse by plugging in the numbers to the Pythagorean theorem. So we know that a is 4 and b is 2, and we're looking for c. Okay, so that's 4 squared plus 2 squared equals c squared. Well, 4 squared means 4 times 4, so that's 16. And 2 squared means 2 times 2, that's 4, and that's equal to c squared. From there, 16 and 4 is 20, and then that so is that c squared. But, okay, well, how do I get c? Well, I'd need to undo the square on c. So I would take the square root of both sides of this equation. So c is going to be the square root of 20. Now, perhaps you don't remember how to do that in your calculator. Well, let me show you. On your calculator, the square root button is located above the x squared button. So in order to get the square root, you would need to use the second key. So in, to get the square root, you would push second and then x squared, which would get you the square root. Okay, so let's actually figure that out. Using the calculator, the square root of 20 comes out to be four, about 4.47. Usually for purposes in our class, leaving two places after the decimal will be sufficient. Okay, so the distance between Papa's Pizza and Benny's house is 4.47 if you were a bird, as the crow flies. Okay, so let's summarize the distance formula. Now, it's based off the Pythagorean theorem. As I write the distance formula, observe how similar it looks. So the distance formula says that d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. Do you see how that looks somewhat like the Pythagorean theorem? In the Pythagorean theorem, this 
D is the same as our C. We've already taken the square root. This x squared minus x1, x2 minus x1 squared, well, that's our A. And then this part over here, well, that's our B. See how it's related to the Pythagorean theorem? Now, it's also important to keep in mind some key words that in a problem statement might indicate to you that you need to use the distance formula. Those kind of key words might be, well, obviously, distance. If we're talking about the length of a segment, that could also imply use of the distance formula. Or something might ask, like, how far is it? All of those are some key phrases to look for. Okay, let's do an example. Let's find the length of segment AB if A is located at 3, negative 1, and B is at negative 1, 2. All right, so here's the distance formula again. D equals the square root of x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. Okay, so, hmm. How do we know where to plug things in? Just like I said with the midpoint formula, it's good to label your coordinate points with, so that you know where to put things in. So this first point will be our x1, y1, and the second one will be our x2, y2. All right, so let's put in the numbers. This x2 is going to be negative 1 minus 3. Then we'll have y2 being 2 and y1 being negative 1. Notice that how we have a minus sign here and when we plug in for y1 we have a minus sign that goes in. So really we have 2 minus a minus 1. Now obviously let's not forget the rest of the formula that's around it. Okay, then we can evaluate this step by step negative 1 minus 3, well that would be negative 4. Then 2 minus a minus 1, well anytime we subtract a negative number it's effectively like adding its reverse. So this would be 2 plus 1 which is 3. Alright, keep the rest of the formula. Okay, so now let's compute the squares negative 4 squared. That means negative 4 times negative 4. That's going to be a positive 16. Negative times negative is a positive. 3 squared is 9. Okay, so then, hmm, we've got 16 plus 9, that would be 25. Square root of 25 is 5. Okay, so the distance between those two points is 5. If you're more comfortable, you could also just use the Pythagorean theorem instead of worrying about the distance formula. So, let's put our coordinate points, which were 3, negative 1, and negative 1, 2, just on a self-made coordinate grid. Okay, so 3, negative 1 would be, oh, something like this. Okay? And then negative 1, 2 would be somewhere over here. Oops, hold on, my pen isn't working. There we go. So this over here might be our 3, negative 1. And this up here would be 1, 2. Okay, so let's find the distance between those two. Okay, that would be straight as a crow, crow, fry, crow flies <laughs> like that. Okay, so... Based off the Pythagorean theorem, we can make a right triangle. There we go. Hey, pardon my artwork. All right, so how far is it in the x direction? Right here. Okay, well, that's the same as asking how far is it from negative 1 to 3. Well, that would be 4. And then how far is it from 2 to get down to negative 1? Well, that's 3. Okay, so from the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared, that would be 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared, 9 plus 16, evaluating the squares. Oh, do you recognize the numbers 9 and 16 from where we were working it before?
Yeah, it's the same numbers. The distance formula and the Pythagorean theorem are essentially the same. Okay, so 9 plus 16 is 25. Then, in order to find out what c is, I need to take the square root of both sides. All right, so square root of 25 is 5. Okay, so that's two different ways you can find the distance between two coordinate points. All right, well, that's the end of our video. Be ready for the video quiz and to practice tomorrow.